Man, what the fuck is up with y'all, bro? I got another little different video because y'all was showing some support to the uh, King of Exotic Snack Shop video. And uh, go check that video out. Like, gonna be in the description. Everything will be in the description. Huge shout out to. Let me get. Let me pull up my sponsors real quick because why not? Huge shout out to MBTB for sponsoring. Shout out that now or later, man. They valid. Y'all gotta go fuck with them. Here go their QR code. Y'all can scan it. I go check all that out. On top of that, y'all go give a huge shout out to King of Exotic Snack Shop, man. When I tell you they fire, every single snacks is fire. You go check this video out. Um, go check it out in the other videos. They got a whole bunch of videos. But if it uh get clear, if it uh, oh, there you go. Go get that QR code in. Snack Shops three one five. On top of that, um, here go another one of their cards. Here go their number and everything. Hold on, let me get that. Hold on, let me, let me get that. Ooh, ooh, it's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. Hold on. Goodness gracious, bro. Fuck that, but the number is 315-883-0042, and it's on 2010 West Genesee Street, Syracuse, New York. Go lock your note with all of them, man. Check them out. Food is valid. Snacks is valid. All types of shit is valid. But we got an interesting video today. Today, we're going to be trying different types of beef jerky, like different types of meat, I guess. Pause. Like, we got um some teriyaki. We got some shit made with elk. We got some shit made with wild boar, buffalo bob. Some shit made with pheasant, meat sticks. Some shit made with venison, buffalo. All types of shit. We are gonna get it. We are gonna try it out. Here go all of them. I know this one is open. Um, I didn't try it though. It was given to me like that. But now we about to uh, try everything. Why I had it before y'all get it, we get into the video and we see all this. I know y'all see my dress getting long as fuck, but go like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, show some love, show that you here, man. I've been rocking with my supporters since day one. Y'all been supporting me to the fullest. I appreciate it. We are at 110 subscribers currently and moving up. We going up every single day, so I'm just more than happy to be here with you guys and i'm happy to see you guys share that with me i'm very appreciative from every type of support that you guys give me i can't be more thankful i love where i'm at right now and i'm i'm super happy so let's get right into the video for the first one we're gonna try buffalo meat stick from buffalo bobs i'm guessing this is um buffalo it's made I don't know how this is going to taste, but let's see. Let's see what bro rocking with, man. I ain't going to take too much of a bite, man. So I'll say this. The meat is a lot softer than... Than like a regular Slim Jim because you know with the Slim Jims you get that snap. You don't really get a snap with here. It's more like a little it's this it's a ten more tender meat. Got a little kick to it though. It's sweet with a little bit of spice to it. Yeah. To rate this one, I'll definitely give it a Go six out of ten. That's that one right there. All right. Um. For our next one, we got this pheasant meat stick. I'm guessing it's with the bird, the pheasant. Um, it's natural hickory smoke. We got pork in it. I don't like pork, but for the sake of you guys, I'm gonna try it. Eight grams of protein, gluten free, no nitrates, raised with no antibiotics. 
made in the USA. Okay. We gonna um see how this one is, man. I ain't never had pheasant in a day in my life. I'm a little scared for trying it. I don't know. I don't really get into trying all of those exotic animals and shit like that. I'm down for it. I'm down to try anything, to be honest with you. Low key, it smell like dog food a little bit, but like not a, not a bad dog food, like a sweet type of dog food. I'm about to see what this busting like, man. Pheasant is the number one ingredient on this, so I've never had pheasant before, but we about to get into it. So this one, this one tastes like a sweet, a sweet pepperoni. Like it got like a sweet pepperoni taste and it's soft too. It's soft again, it's more tender on that tender side. It's not bad though. It got a nice taste to it. Like it got a different, a different taste. You know what I mean? It don't got the same taste that you would think that. That we usually have, but I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to move them around my taste buds. If I was rating this one, well, I am rating this one. I'm giving it a. I say, I like that one more than the last one. So 7.5 out of 10. You know what? I give that an 8. I'll give that an 8.5 out of 10. I mean an 8 out of 10. For this next one, we got teriyaki jerky made with elk. Alaska Indian Valley. Y'all see it right here. Valid. I'm a little skeptical of how this tastes. I've never tasted elk. I'm surprised because we got a venison one right here. So I'm just surprised if this one tastes like, um, how is that? How is they going to taste different? You know what I mean? Because elk and venison is damn near the same animal. One just got fucking horns or points. And the other one got a white tail. I don't fucking know. I don't know the difference between them animals, man. Hold on, let me cut it open. Because I know y'all like seeing shit like that now. It's okay, I like seeing shit like that too, you feel me? So therefore, I go, I'll do it for you guys. I'm about to get into it right now. I don't, they make these packets so vacuum. Like, look at this, bro. This thing thin as hell. They made a motherfucker airtight. You can't even knock that bitch open if you wanted to. I cut it. I literally just cut it in half and it's still not open. Not even open from the top, man. Not even open from the top, but that's what we trying. Teriyaki jerky elk. Maybe I gotta cut it from a different oh yeah, that angle cuts way better. That angle cut way better. Let's see how this is, man. And another time. Why we do got some time, man. Can we throw a huge shout out to King of Exotic Snack Shop, man? They've been supporting. I'm supporting them to the max. Go support them. 2010 Western C Street. They open, um, I believe, 11 to 8. They got the best exotic snacks in town, man. I promise you. You can't buy these off Amazon. You can't buy these offline. You got to go through them to get it. They locked in like that. Best snacks. Real different snacks. We got different types of snacks from the UK, fucking Canada. Um, yeah, man. All types of places, man. Go get locked in with them boys. What are they doing their thing? Let's go see what, you know. I've been taking them little bites for the other things. Whoa. See, this, this, this. We got a different smell. It smells like a lot more gamey. I don't know. I'm trying to do some ASMR shit, but it smells a lot more gamey than those beef sticks or whatever it is. It smells. 
You can smell the teriyaki in it. I don't know. Presentation wise, definitely looking like tree bark. I'll definitely give it a fucking three out of ten for presentation wise, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to try it to see what the fuck elk tastes like. So I could try it so you guys don't got to. I'm on fucking toe. That bitch tastes like. I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker like leather. Mm. I said this. It is tough. It was way tougher than the last one. And the last one I'm saying I probably didn't like because how tough it was. I mean how soft it was. I'm not really a soft type of person. But it's definitely not bad. Like it got flavor. It's like a peppery flavor. Just, I'm not really getting no teriyaki. So I say I ain't really tasting teriyaki. I'm tasting more like a peppered, a peppered steak. But it's a lot, it's more gamey. Like, I could taste with different meat. It's not no beef or no pork and shit. I don't even know if the ones had pork in it, to be honest with you. Nope, it was beef, elk, corn syrup, shit like that. But, looking at this other one right here. About the same one. The Hunter's Reserve one, man. We got duck. I like duck. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like duck. Duck got duck. I used to work at Possibilities around Millionaires, and boy, when I tell you, they know how to make some duck, boy. Them know, they know how to make some duck. If you watch them Possibility, shout out. Oh, I fucked it up, man. I ripped it all the wrong way. But if you have Possibilities, man, shout out you, bro. This is a goat. I used to fuck with them. But since we ripped it like that, we're gonna try that duck right now, man. Let's see how it is, man. Mm, it's more like the other one. Duck got a more of a gamey taste. I like how duck tastes. It's a different taste than all the other ones do. I like it though. But to be honest with you, this one got like a little. It's more. It's more lean than the last one. It's not as soft. Definitely got a bigger flavor profile than the other ones. I'm getting more like more flavor out of this one. All, right, all of them are definitely my favorite. And I'm not saying that to be biased because I already like duck. I never tried the other one, so you feel me? Anyone could take the cake. But I like that. To me, I didn't find nothing wrong with that one. And when I don't find nothing wrong, I give that motherfucker a 10 out of 10. I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. Because I feel like jerky just tastes more like that. You feel me? When I get jerky, I don't want to taste no fucking hard, cardboard ass, tough on my teeth. Get in my teeth so I got to do that. You feel me? I know I got a gap and shit so it could go straight through. But when you got that hard beef jerky, but that shit get in your teeth, it hurt. I don't fuck with that. So I'm glad that wasn't like that. And that was different. But... So now we about to get into this business and from the same place, the Alaska um Indian Valley teriyaki jerky made with venison. So it's basically like the one made with elk, but damn near just it got uh venison in it. Venison for you, if you don't know what venison is, venison is deer. It's just another word for deer. And if I'm wrong and there's a whole meaning to it and there's a lot more to it, then let me know because I I don't know. But, yeah, already know. It's valid. Hold on. That motherfucker on my motherfucking finger, but I tried to cut it and I accidentally took the other, the wrapping off and shit. And this, for some reason, likes to get stuck. Different smell, though. Now I'm getting a more teriyaki smell with this one. Mm. 
I don't know. I'm on fucking hard. I'm on fucking hard. I'm on fucking low. Oh, damn. That's alright. My best, my dog wants some. Oh. She like it. Mm. I don't know if I'm stuck between this one or the elk one. Let me say the elk one though, but just because it tastes good, but. The elk one was more type gamey, where I taste something different, where this just tastes like regular beef jerky. And on top of that, oh, uh, we're not stuck with my tooth. Mm. But don't come for me in the comment section because I know jerky is supposed to be tough, just by the way it's made. Okay. But the other ones, A1 day one. And before we out of here, man. Shout out King of his Arc Snack Shops once more times, bro. Y'all gotta go mess with this with these dudes, bro. I'm telling you, they on top of their shit. I'm gonna put their Instagram, everything in the comment section or the description. And on top of that, go fuck with MBTB. Now or later. <coughs> My bad. Now or later. That strand now or later is the one you wanna get. Go follow them. TikTok and Instagram. Screenshot that. Get that down. But drop in the comment section what y'all want me to react to, what other food y'all want me to try. What else y'all want me to do? What different things I should do? I'm going to listen to y'all. Take y'all advice. Tell me what y'all want to see. Other than that, go catch that new music, man. I'm about to drop some reaction videos, but he.